Hey, what's up guys? It's Franchise923, and I wanted to make some videos about Boto3. Um, so Boto3 is Python, it's a Python uh, module that allows you to interact with AWS, and I use this all the time at work. It's really handy. Um, I usually just use it for basically like listing um, things in S3 and, and downloading things from a bucket. So in the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you the basics of using Boto3, and mostly just how we can use it with S3, since that's... Uh, the, the use case that I use it for. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in learning more about Boto3 and Python, uh, keep watching. Uh, so yeah, let's just get started. Um, this is Boto3's, uh, just their home page. Um, you can see there's a lot of information about it, but the first thing we're gonna do is, you need to make sure on whatever machine you're installing Boto3 that you have access to your AWS account. And how I usually do this is I use the AWS command line um, which is something you have to download separately. Um, but basically, if you say AWS S3 LS, as long as you can list your bucket, your buckets like this, uh, then you're good to go to continue. If not, you're going to have to figure out how to get your security credentials on your machine. Um, so I'm using something called access keys and uh, passwords, basically. So if you say AWS configure, this is how you set that up. So you can see it's it already has my information here, but if you don't have this, you need to go to your AWS console and go to security credentials and access keys. And this is where that information is. Um, so that's one way you can access it. You can also, if you're on like an EC2 instance, um, you can basically give it an IAM role that um, has the correct credentials. So, you know, there's a bunch of different ways you can um, connect to S3 or to connect to AWS. Um, so just, you're going to have to figure that one out. And once you're connected, um, then you'll be ready to move on. So what I want to do next is actually um, just install Boto3. So I'm using Anaconda and I'm just going to make a new environment for this uh, Boto3 install. So I always forget exactly how to install stuff with Conda. So I always Google this Conda cheat sheet. And we just need to find this. Conda create dash dash name. And we don't need to specify Python version. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call it um, Bodo3. Um, examples and if we just hit enter it's just going to make a bare bones new python conda environment um, with very few packages installed and i'm just doing this to okay so it's telling me package plan this is i've never seen this before but it's telling me where it's going to install it so since i'm using it as the um as myself not the admin it's going to install it in this location and that's fine with me so i'm just going to say yes all right so it installs, so I'm going to say conda activate photo three examples clear or CLS. Um, and if you say conda list, this is going to show us all the, all the packages we have in this. And, and also if you're using, if you're not using Anaconda, um, you don't need to go through this. And like, if you already have photo three installed, just, uh, you can skip ahead to the next video, but this is just how. I'm going to install Boto3 for these videos. Um, so I just need to say conda install Boto3. So you can see it's going to install all these other libraries because they are dependencies of Boto3 in some way. So uh, we're just going to say yes. Okay, so now I'm just going to check to make sure this worked. I'm just going to say Python, and this is going to open up the Python and say import Boto3. Cool, and I'm also going to import sys and print sys.executable, and this is just going to point me to exactly where this python.exe is, and we're going to need this 
when we set up our IDE to use this. So I'm going to open up PyCharm now. And I'm just going to make a new project and basically point it to that. Um, so let's call this Photo 3 Project. And Python Interpreter, I'm going to change this. And I just need to browse to the new one we just made. So that's why I did this. So it's my user conda environments. I think I might need to refresh this. No, it's not here. Okay. So this, I always like, sometimes I install as the admin, other times as my user. So th this is all the user stuff. So, it, or the admin. So I need to go into the user. I think it was in conda. Yeah. Environments. Go to three examples there. So just grab the python.exe and make available to all projects and just create uh, this window. Make a new Python file, call it photo three practice. All right. And last thing I want to do in this video is just make sure I can import photo three and and let's just uh, print five. I just want to make sure that it imports better through successfully. Yep. Okay. So uh, that's all I want to cover in this video. Um, so now uh, we've connected to AWS um, and we verified that through the AWS command line. And again, like if you don't have that installed, I would suggest installing it, the AWS CLI. Um, I work with this all the time too, and, and they kind of go hand in hand. Um, so. I would recommend installing that if you don't have it. And then once you have Boto 3 installed um, somewhere in Python, uh, yeah, just move on to the next video.